Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name is Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest of the traditional unceded territory of the Coast Salish Nations. It's the freaking weekend, so it's time to do our budget check-in together, and I'm going to get right into the transactions. Um, I am not really sure... <laughs> What's happened, but I feel like I've managed to spend almost all of my grocery budget in the first week of this month, and um, part of that is that I am going to be doing some baking to do some holiday sharing or holiday baking, however you call that. I'm planning to make two things. Um, one is the Bruta Mabuoni cookies, which are an Italian cookie. They're basically a meringue with nuts, and Bruta Mabuoni means ugly but good in Italian and I'm also going to make um, something that I've decided to call Christmas crackers. Um, I've heard it called Christmas crack and uh, have some reservations about that title but it involves crackers and I'm going to be making it like it's like a bark kind of thing so I think I'm going to call it Christmas crackers but it's basically like the saltines, caramel, chocolate and other toppings. Um, so I'm planning to make those to share around. I also just those are just some of my favorite <laughs> holiday foods. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what happened. I feel like I spent all of my grocery money, and you're about to see that in real time. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go down to groceries and get that out of the way. Um, so I spent $92.26 at Costco, $52.84 at Fred Meyer. Um, on a different trip, I spent $58.58 at Fred Meyer. However, um, <clears throat> so thankful I left, uh, I remember that uh, 17 of that was for litter. So that goes into cat section. Wait, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why I just forgot how to do this. And then the rest is going to go into groceries. <clears throat> Groceries, so 17, and then what's left? 41.58. Now, y'all, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you probably know that um, I tend to buy things in bulk. So, um, with the exception of just like the specific Christmas baking things, um, I did pick up some regular groceries, and like at least one of those was like actual real grocery trip, and. I bought things in bulk, so it's not like I'm going to get to the end of the month and not have any food. <laughs> um, I, at this point, I feel like I could live for like a year on the food I have in my house. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that is quarantine life for you. Okay, so I got a haircut. I'm not sure if you're really getting the full effect of it because I got a cut yesterday and then I slept on it, so I haven't done my like regular hair routine. Uh, it's pretty... I use that term pretty loosely, but I do have a little bit of a routine. Um, but anyway, I did get my hair cut, and or basically just like refreshed. Uh, I got cut a year ago, and the same person did it, and they kind of refreshed the style. Um, and that was $60, so it was $50 plus. I gave a $10 tip, and so that's going to go into fun. That was planned for. Um, and uh, when I was running around shopping yesterday. Um, so I'm going to be doing this baking with my downstairs neighbor who is also a germ pod mate. Um, we share the same ventilation system, so it makes sense. Um, and while we were running around, I just, we decided to go through the taco time drive through. And since my friend was driving and whatnot, I just decided to treat her. Uh, $23.69. Um, oh, I had another grocery, kind of grocery trip to the co-op, and I, I meant to put that in. When I was doing groceries, that was $52.38. Um, I bought, actually, several types of delicious coffee, which I'm going to have a What I Eat in a Day come out where I talk a little bit about the coffee that I bought, and so that was kind of a splurge for sure, and then I also know that I bought some, like, Tom's of Maine dental floss that was like five dollars but it's not great so I'm definitely going to be picking up some just like non like health food dental floss so that was like a, a loss of five dollars for sure um but anyway 
The last transaction that I have that's outgoing money is part of that sharing, and that was my Patreon for $25.40. And then last but not least, my interest. So I made $5.83 in interest this month. I am going to put that right in there. Um, I'm always thankful for any interest. Obviously, it's a new and novel thing for me to have savings with which to make interest. Um, but I have to say, I went through... My 2020 budget, I, I entered it all into a year-long spreadsheet so that I could track trends, um, which I will definitely be sharing a video about. Um, and because of that, I got to have this like little like financial memory lane of the whole year. And at the beginning of the year, I was making like $16 in interest, and I had less in savings at the time. So, um, you know, the interest rates have really come down with all of this wildness, um, and it's kind of a bummer, but again, I'm really just thankful to be making any interest. It's just funny to look back and see how much, you know, specific things out of context have changed. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's my, those are my transactions for the week. I hope that you are having a good first week of December, and I will see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow, because Vlogmas.